Now at 6.30, an explosion in Cuba, leaving a number of people dead. Good evening, everyone. The horror happening in a well-known hotel in Havana. Seven's Kevin Ozebek has the search that continues tonight for any signs of survivors. Huge clouds of smoke rising from the Saratoga Hotel in Havana as a large explosion leaves several people dead. Cuban officials say at least nine people have died and at least 40 others were taken to the hospital. 13 people are reported missing. Crowds gathering around the building, now surrounded by debris. The first few floors seriously damaged. Medical crews attending to those on the scene and medics taking the injured to a nearby hospital. Firefighters were, were keeping back hundreds of people while they were uh, carrying out the, the difficult work of uh, taking people out of the rubble. We saw at least one woman who was quite bloody who was taken out of, of the rubble. Officials say people may be trapped in the hotel and search and rescue efforts are ongoing. Nearby students attending an elementary school were evacuated. Cuban officials say the explosion was apparently due to a gas leak. Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canel, along with other members of the government, at the site of the blast. Diaz-Canel saying on Twitter the explosion was not a bomb or an intentional attack, but rather a sad accident. The Saratoga Hotel is located in Old Havana. The building was closed down two years ago due to COVID and was scheduled to reopen next week. That was still under uh, repairs and it was still a few several days away from being reopened, but it would have been full with uh, Cuban hotel workers. Now crews combing through what's left of the five star hotel searching for survivors. It really is one of the better known five star hotels uh, on this island. It is now complete destroyed. Cuba's National Health Minister says the number of people injured could rise as well as the search and rescue efforts continue. In the Satellite Center, Kevin Ozebeck, 7